This video explains how to construct a kite in Geometer Sketchpad using the compass or circle tool and the straight edge or segment tool. To start, press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and construct a segment by pressing down on a spot to make the first point and pressing down on another spot to make the second point. Next, select the compass or circle tool, which is the third button down, and create a circle starting at one end point and extending to the second end point. Repeat these same steps starting at the other end point. Then press and hold the straight edge tool in the bottom corner and we're going to go to the third option over which is a line and we're going to select one of the intersection points formed by the two circles as our first point on the line and then we're going to go all the way to the other side where again the two circles intersect and that'll be our second point on the line. In order to create our kite, I'm going to use the straight edge tool again, which is the fourth button down. Since we made a line the last time, we need to reselect the segment option using the arrow in the bottom right corner. So I've got to press and hold and then choose option one, which is the segment tool. And then I'm going to start at one of the endpoints of our original segment, and I'm going to connect it to any point on this perpendicular bisector. It doesn't matter where. Then I'm going to connect this new point to our other endpoint, then connect the second endpoint with a new point on our perpendicular line. Make sure that the distance between the intersection of our perpendicular lines and this new point is either longer or shorter than the first new point that you created. Mine is longer. Also connect this new point with our original point. Last, let's hide the additional circles, segments, lines, and points that we no longer need. So I have my circles, this extra point, the line, this one, and this extra point. And then go to Display, Hide Objects, which is Control h on a PC or Command h on a Mac. In order to verify that our quadrilateral is a kite, we need to measure the segment lengths and angle measures. Let's do the segments first. We can highlight all four segments going around our kite and then go to Measure, Lengths. If you notice, each pair of consecutive sides are indeed congruent. So, so far it does seem like it's going to be a kite. Now let's do each angle individually, and in order to do so you need to select three points, with the middle letter being your vertex. So if I want angle A, I have to have that one as my second one, so I'll do D, A, B. And then go to Measure, angle. And I'll do angle ABC, then angle BCD, and lastly angle CDA. As you can see, only one pair of opposite angles are congruent, making our quadrilateral a kite. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you have a great day.